We have all been there. Buy a bunch of food at the start of the week only to toss it once it spoils. Yeah, it's so bad. The studies say we waste 40% of the food supply. The average family of four spends $1,500 a year on food we throw away. But we found four simple ways to stretch your dollar. WCCO's Liz Collins shares what we can all learn from looking into one family's refrigerator. That refrigerator belongs to Jackie Blazyak Wisner, a busy working wife and mother of two in Moundsview, who admitted she'd like to not throw so much food away. I would say maybe a bag a week of produce, bread. Those are our two most common things, our leftovers that were never eaten. Exactly. Leftovers are a common one. We enlisted Joanne Birkenkamp to help from the Natural Resources Defense Council, a nonprofit that helped launch a campaign to save food and protect the environment in the process. So tell me what you've got here. Birkenkamp wastes okay. no time um, getting to our first step to save. Plan ahead. And there's no better place than the grocery store. Am I buying for five nights? Or am I really buying for two or three nights? Where she says we should never go without first looking at what we have and writing down what we need. And that allows you to really go with the list and then to focus on the things that you really want to purchase and will use. It's the lettuce shelves, she says, that often gets shoppers in the most trouble. I think it's probably one of the things that we overbuy the most. She calls it aspirational shopping, something Jackie is guilty of. To solve it, buy food with multiple uses, say spinach, that you're able to put in other meals like pasta. It'll cook down very quickly in about two or three minutes. Okay. And it's a way to use a great volume of salad greens really, really quickly. Which brings us to tip number two, storage. There are some things that belong in the refrigerator and there are some things that belong in the shelf. She flags one in Jackie's fridge right away. Tomatoes are fine in the fridge, but they're actually better if you leave them out on the counter. Birkenkamp believes avocados are also best left out. If they go into the refrigerator, they stop ripening. So if you buy it and it's a little bit hard, Keep it on the shelf until it's like you like it, and then you can put it in the fridge. Bottom line, fruits and vegetables do best if they can breathe. When you get fruits and vegetables home, you're better off storing them out of the bag. And we should always pay attention to where we put certain products in the fridge. The back of the fridge is the coolest, so you want to have perishable things like milk toward the back. Less perishable items like condiments are best kept in a line on the door. Refrigerator temperature also plays a role in keeping our food lasting the longest. Birkenkamp says we should get a refrigerator thermometer and check for a reading between 36 and 38 degrees. That's what will keep your food lasting the longest. Thirdly, think about creative ways to use up leftovers and things that you need to use quickly. This tip should have us thinking of soup and crockpot recipes. Something as simple as cooking mushrooms right away will mean they'll have a better chance of being eaten. Our last tip takes us to the deep freeze. When you have food that you can't use up fast enough, most things can be frozen. Milk, sour cream, and most fruits and veggies can all go in the freezer. Bread is also nice because it freezes well and it thaws quickly. Preserving food and your family's budget with four simple steps. I would guess your family could come up with some other use for $1,500 then. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Companies also hope to clear up confusion surrounding food labels to keep consumers from throwing food out too soon. Grocers now want food producers to only use use by and best if used by phrases on those labels. If you have more information on how to better store your food, use your leftovers, and plan your meal purchases, we all have all that for you at WCCO.com links.